due to my airbrush being broken, we're going to hand paint this Tintin and Snowy model today. Now I start out with putting a just a white base coat on the base and then over the top of that a gray coat and I'm still having trouble getting paint to come out of my airbrush properly. So that actually worked here only because I wanted to give it kind of a real life street look with little wares and so the fact that the paint came out uneven was really helpful. After that I wanted to see if I could make it look wet as if it had just rained. In order to do that the only things I have on hand that would make sense were some Mod Podge and some water so I added those together and then I filled in the cracks with Mod Podge and water. Once that was done I set it aside and I started working on Snowy. Now in the interim at some point the bone that Snowy was holding got broken off and so well one half got broken off and so I cut the other half off and so Snowy does not have his bone in this shot or in the rest of the model kit but he still looks okay so I continued on without it. After putting down a layer of a white base coat I then used Vallejo white in order to paint Snowy. I wasn't too concerned about the way the paint went on simply because Snowy is very fluffy and very bumpy and so any bumps in the paint, any streaks in the paint would be hidden by the bumpiness of the model itself. After a few coats of that, I hit it with a heat gun, or as I like to call it, my impatience cannon. Now I had to do the eyes and the nose in black, and the eyes are inset in the model, but I made a fatal mistake here in the fact that I did not thin out the paint before I attempted to paint the eyes, and so rather than pooling inside the eye sockets as it was supposed to, it actually got around the outside edge, and that created an issue. Not wanting to make the same mistake with the second eye, I then thinned out the paint and with a quick dab got the eye done with one quick little bump. In an attempt to fix my original mistake, I tried to wipe off the excess with a paper towel and ended up smearing all of the paint down his face. Ben, won't stop. Not wanting to give up though, I then refilled his eyes with the same thin paint I had previously. And then just did a little bit of touch up with thicker white paint around his nose to clear up the black spots. Not wanting to make the same mistake twice, I then took thinner paint and used that to paint his nose. With Snowy being finished, I then moved on to Tintin himself. Oddly enough, the Vallejo paint that I had did not require much mixing in order to match the colors that were in the original comics. Uh, for his skin tone, I just used the standard matte skin.
for his pants, I did have to mix a red and brown together, which created kind of a reddish brown, which worked perfectly. For his shoes, I had a little bit of issue getting the right paint color and it took me a couple of attempts, but mixing a combination of skin tone and brown, I was able to lighten the brown enough to make it look like shoe leather. And then for his shirt, I used the Azer blue color. After each layer of paint is put down, I will hit it with a hair dryer in order to dry it off quickly so I can continue painting, except for that one time that I didn't and I ended up with a giant thumbprint in the middle of his chest. A real quick fix later and I was able to put the paint back on, but it is something to keep an eye on when you're doing your own painting that you don't accidentally grab wet paint. The coat is again just the buff color, it's a yellowish tan color. For his hair, I mixed yellow, buff, and a little bit of red. I was concerned that it would match his face color, but it turned out to be just dark enough, just red enough to not match exactly, and indeed it actually came out looking a lot better than I thought it would. For the features around the face, unlike Snowy, the only dimpled area on the face was his mouth. That was really easy to do, it was just one little drop of black paint and it was done. However, the eyes and eyebrows were raised and unfortunately they did give me a little bit of trouble. And here's the finished result. There are some places where I could improve, of course. There are some places where the paint isn't perfect and it doesn't line up exactly as I did not do any masking on this particular model. However, for a first time hand painted figure, I think it started out okay and I'm really happy with my color choices. This model can be found on Thingiverse and there will be a link down in the description. Please feel free to leave a like, leave a comment if you have any suggestions with the way I do my painting, the way I mix my paints, any questions about what I've done, that would be great. And as always, this is me encouraging you to try this yourself. Okay, okay, I'm coming!